Welcome to State Television Campaign Western Armenia, broadcast for today. When the fire tree burns, Armenia Gabrahamian. I hope people will realize everything and will arraign those who surrendered the homeland. Ashotai Tsunyan. We must show the truth to the world, Tatoyan Foundation. Central School of Mezirem, Harbert. An Urartian basalt status has been found in one. As Armenian, we cannot be happy when we live in our national values. Unity for the sake of Armenians of Artsakh. President Armenak Abrahamel thanked Jean Leonetti, the mayor of Antibes, Joan Le Pen, for organizing the conference with the presence of the honored guest, called Gerald Lacoste, delegate of patriotic organizations and delegate of commemorations, as well as Mr. Vrej Abrahamel, president of the National Association of Armenian Veterans and Supporters, member of parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia and president of Anagas. Christian Jean Betril, President of Association of French Veterans and Armenian Resistance Fighters, Mr. Jean Ghazalassian, President of Association of Veterans and Resistance Fighters of the Armenian Nation, Member of Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia. At the beginning of his speech, President Armenia Gabrahamian asked the audience to observe a minute of silence in memory of the warriors who fell in Artsakh and the Jews, Palestinians and Lebanese who died in Lebanon. He then introduced the 106th anniversary of the Armistice of Mudros on 30 October 1918, referred to the liberation of Palestine and the creation of a Jewish national home for the Balfour Declaration, the liberation of Lebanon, Syria, and finally the involvement of the Eastern Legion, Armenian Legion, in Kilikia. President Abrahamian condemned the atrocities of October 7, 2023, and reminded them that it happened a few weeks after the ethnic cleansing of Armenians of Artsakh. Mr. Abrahamian presented how the Palestinian Authority gave way to Hamas, which supported the idea of two states. Mr. President also discussed the consequences of the war in Gaza. In the end, he emphasized France's various retreats from Kilikia to the present day. Ashot Haatunyan, historian, director of the Shushi Historian Museum, is sure that Nikol Pashinyan's rule in Eastern Armenia will not last forever. Therefore, no matter how much he and his government try to make anti-Artsakh statements and hinder the demand of Armenians of Artsakh to return to Artsakh, to advance the Artsakh issue, they will not succeed in hindering the process. This government and its policy are completely contradictory in 2019. They announced that Artsakh is Armenian and that's, that's it. And in 2020, after losing the war, they announced that they recognize Artsakh as part of Baku. I repeat, an Armenian cannot declare that Artsakh was a part of the newly created Azerbaijan, said Ashot Haatunyan in a conversation. I once suggested to these authorities that if they give us a settlement near here, when we will work, live and liberate Artsakh. They did not agree and they are afraid of our plan. They know that we stood up and will liberate Artsakh. Specialists of Tatoyan Foundation, the Center of Law and Justice, are doing extensive work to uncover the lies of Azerbaijan about Eastern Armenia and Artsakh. They initiated to reveal the violations of the rights of the Armenian people. The Tatoyan Foundation informed News AM that the facts of the Armenian hating and racist police of Azerbaijan are being recorded. Documents are prepared to be presented in different countries of the world to international courts and media. Due to this work, Foundation can contribute to countering the Azerbaijan lies effectively, protecting the rights and interests of Armenia and the Armenian people. We must show the world the truth. We shall be able to effectively protect our rights and achieve the restoration of justice, said the Tatoyan Foundation. The photo above shows Armenians gathered in front of Central School of Mezerain Harbert, Western Armenia. The photo was taken by Khazar Sarkis Melikan. It shows the development of Armenian educational life and culture in this important education institution, education at the junior college level. Central School of Mezere was one of the education centers of the Armenian population of Harbert region. National cultural and language were taught there. Under the condition of the Ottoman Empire, Armenians overcoming many obstacles strive to raise their educational level and keep their Armenian identity. Such photos are valuable testimonies from the past and show the constant effort of the Armenian people in educational life, due to which they aimed at preserving their knowledge and identity. According to the report of Archeo News, this unique find is the first of its kind. The statue will be replaced to the Van Museum for further research and restoration. This is a unique find in an area with very few Eurasian artifacts, the author explains. The Eurasians are the Armenians of the ancient kingdom of Armenia. The center was in Western Armenia. Actor and documentarian Gagik Tatsunyan founded the Inknutun Foundation. In English, it is translated as identity. 
It was founded to preserve and spread the Armenian identity. During the war in Artsakh, he realized that the Armenian nation is in cultural danger and a strong identity is necessary for the survival of the nation. As a result of the ethnic cleansing in Artsakh, thousands of our historic and cultural monuments remained under the control of the enemy, and some sections of our society voluntarily left their own culture, he says. The foundation aims to digitize cultural heritage and make it accessible, especially for young people. In order to protect the rights of Armenians of Artsakh, we should use all the opportunities and connections, including political, diplomatic, and interreligious. Around one, Catholicus of the Great House of Kilika called for people ahead of COP29, urging them to unite for the protection of the rights of Armenians of Artsakh. He noted that the head of the eve of the COP29 International Climate Conference, the world should be reminded of the military aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh carried out in 2020, should be informed about the forced deportation of about 120,000 Armenians of Artsakh and the purposeful destruction of Armenian culture and religious heritage, about the illegal capture of Artsakh political leadership. For the protection of the rights of Armenians of Artsakh, he called to use all opportunities and connections, including political, diplomatic, interreligious, with use of informational means. He urged them to pray for the early release of Artsakh's political leaders and other prisoners during ceremonies in churches. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.